Yes. Excitement level uh, going through uh, your mind and and with the, the team as a whole. Oh yeah, no the. Do you want the mic up? So, um, the non sleeping has already started, which is exciting. And no, this is the most exciting meet of the year, or of this, no, so far of the year. No, but getting started in December is always an exciting thing. You get to kind of see where your athletes are at after a long fall of training and. Each year we continue to get better and better, and I just can't wait to see what everyone, um, especially these two individuals, that what the team collectively can do this weekend. You got a, a lot of uh, weapons back on the, the team with the yeah. several All-Americans, uh, national champs sitting to, to your left. Uh, yeah. McKenna, how hard was it for you to, to miss indoor season and, and part of the outdoor season last year and, and kind of your excitement level uh, now back um, yeah, for this no. weekend? It was definitely hard for me to come back from a surgery just because I just started running in February. So I knew indoor wasn't going to be possible for me. And then outdoor, I ended up having the flu. And so a lot of things didn't align for me. But this year, my foot pain is completely subsided and I'm not having any pain whatsoever. And practices have been going extremely well for me. So I have really high expectations that I'm hoping to meet them. So. Gunnar, are you uh, red shirt of the, the outdoor season after a great uh, indoor season and, and going back uh, this weekend to, to a place where you, you set the, the records and, and uh, ultimately uh, helped you get to the All-American honor? What, what's kind of going through your mind as, as uh, you get ready for the, this weekend and, and the year as a whole? Yeah, uh, every time I get to jump at Western, it's just fun. And I like that runway and the facility. So I'm excited to hopefully you know, continue to break records there. Um, I feel better than I did last year, um, even when during conference time. So uh, I'm really excited about this year, and uh, it should be a good one. Brad, you've seen the the, the program develop kind of step by step throughout the, the last few years, the second place finishes last year. What's the, the team goal, and, and uh, what do you need to, to do to accomplish that this right. year? Um. I mean, team goal is to be the best that we can be when it matters, and I think we have a lot of athletes that are ready to go now, but we have, no matter what these two accomplish this weekend and a lot of other stars on the team, like it's, it, it, it's irrelevant like, to what we want to accomplish this season. And so we are very excited, and, and the steps that we want to take is, yeah, we, we want to win things. We want our athletes to get better, and that's number one. Like, is we might, the goal is always to win as a team and have individual winners, but overall it's just to continue to develop and making sure each athlete hits the goals that they have in, in their head. And, and as coaches, we all have, they have their own goals and we have these, these goals that they don't know about for them. And yeah, we're just excited to, as a staff, to be able to do everything we can to make sure each individual on the team is hitting that because then when it's all put together, it leads to a pretty big score. I guess uh, McKenna and, and for you two, Gunnar, kind of who are maybe some of the, the people ready to, to break out, if you will, um, amongst your, your teammates that, that may not have uh, kind of had the, the limelight yet, but maybe it was someone experienced last year that, that just had a, a great summer and, and fall or, or a new freshman or, or yeah, transfer. Um, specifically for this weekend? Either or, just kind of this weekend or okay, the, the um, season, maybe. I some some names to watch, if you will. Yeah, I guess. yeah. Uh, Jordan Burnett, of course. Uh, she is a sophomore, and she's right behind me at practices. Uh, as a sophomore, that's extremely impressive. So I'm excited to see what she can do. Sierra's back this year, um, and so I'm excited to have her on the 4x4. Micah, Sophie, a lot of the multis are doing really well as well. Um, but that's all on the top of my head. Um, on the jumper side, I'd say Spencer Purnell is like my duo for triple, and I think he's looking really good this year. He usually in the past has struggled with, with indoor and always been doing really well outdoor, but I think this year he'll do really well indoor. Um, Zace is another guy that for long and high jump and triple too, is he's like he's due for a really big season. Um, Zachary is the new addition to the team. He should be really good. Um, Kiana is looking really good in practice right now, and she seems healthy. So um, I think I think the whole jump squad is looking pretty stout. So I'm very excited for them. Brad, that's been a, a strength of the, the team for, for several years now, and, 
in the the jumps and um, kind of a, a small army in the the, the sprints, especially in the yeah. the men's side. Is there any other names you you have to yeah, can throw out there? Ones that haven't been mentioned. Um, the the sprint crew and hurdle crew, like Zayden Davis, looking phenomenal in the hurdles and the and the sprinting side. Like our men's four by four is just itching to get going. Um, we will have. Um, Blanton and Smallwood and Montague and Dane Ortega, like they're they're looking great and Elijah's looking great and um, it's funny to see all the people start to kind of slowly come together and have all these names that the names I say are ones that have been podium at the RMAX and several All Americans and so um, just excited for all of them and this weekend is a great opportunity for them to kind of yeah get in that limelight a little bit. Well, let Tax and do question of the week. All right, guys, question of the week. It's December. We're right in the middle of Christmas music season. So give me some of your favorite Christmas songs, Christmas carols. Like, what kind of Christmas music do you guys like listening to? Uh, Jingle Bell Rock is always the go-to for me personally. I think that's just a, you know, a cult classic at this point. Um, anything but the Mariah Carey. I, I can't. I, I can't be listening to that anymore. It's we already play. had someone say that one. Yeah, so yeah. Have yeah. To take it up with them. It's been too many years. She's made a billion dollars <laughs> off that at this point. Um, mine is Frosty. I think. Oh. So I I don't know the name of it, but I know it's by the Beach Boys. I believe. Do you know? No. Good, it's a, it's an vibrations. oldie. It's an oldie. I don't know. <laughs> I don't yeah. know. <laughs> yeah. I'm not. No, I'm good. 